But who do you think from a pitching standpoint? You're going to hate this idea? No, don't do <laughs> You're it. You're going to hate it Stupid. so much. Stupid. Don't do it. Don't do it. You have, a, you, have, you have too many young, impressionable players and too many good vibes going. Listen, I, I go to Bauer and I tell him this. You are on a zero tolerance policy. No. Okay, just listen. Bauer outage, your logo, see you later. We're not going to see it anywhere. Your, your podcast, gone. Adios. Talking to the media, unless we tell you to talk to them, see you later. You're playing for the league minimum. You want to prove to us that you are reformed and you desperately want to play baseball for the league minimum? Those are my conditions. And I know that you're worried about that clubhouse. I get it. But at the end of the day, this is America. You should get a second chance. If he's really telling us the truth that he's a changed man, prove it. Get rid of all of that crap, all the baggage that nobody wants to deal with and tell them I will play for nothing, which is the med- uh, league minimum. And the minute I screw up, if you if you say jump and I don't say how high, get rid of me. Because oh. if they, they need an ace, if they can get, if they can retain uh, Corbin Burns and then they can bring in Bauer and they got Soto, they're a World Series caliber team, not just next year, but for the next three or four years, potentially. Well, here's the thing about it. Let's not forget about this. They are World Series calendar like contender, super power contender right now. There's no doubt about it, and they're going to be like, they're going to be that for the next four years, regardless. Now, there's a big difference between being a World Series contender and being a front runner who should win the World Series, right? And there's a big difference between being the Astros and being the Brewers and, and stuff. The Brewers have a great team. The Orioles have a great team. Orioles haven't accomplished anything yet. Now the Astros have, you know, the, the Braves World Series, like super contender every single year this year, obviously down a little bit. Phillies, super contender. There's a difference between just being a contender and being good and being really good and then being great. Uh, yes. the, the Orioles have shown that they're really good. They haven't shown that they're great yet. Now they're playing great baseball. They're they're playing incredible baseball. First place, second place, first place, second place in, in, in the AL all the time. You know, best record in baseball right there, you know, type of stuff. But you got to show it in the playoffs. And, you know, last year being out quick, that's one thing. It's your first year. Now you got that under your belt. They're going to go further this year. Now you bring in a guy like Soto. You bring in a guy, you bring back a guy like Burns or another starting pitcher, right? You go out there and, and make a move in the offseason. I think the thing is they go make a move for a school in the offseason or you go out and make a move for Crochet or or somebody that's a, the next level. You're going to own, own them for a while and they've got the players to be able to do it. That's where you make the difference. I do think as a starting pitching staff, they need another solid veteran. That's why they brought in Eflin. And, and unfortunately right now he's hurt, right? And that's why they brought in Burns. That's why they make that move. But you need more than just the Burns. And all the starting pitching in in these great teams have shown that. You need more than just like that one dude. You need at least two nowadays. At least two. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I do agree with you on that. I don't think Bauer's worth it. I don't think Bauer's worth it. And I, I don't I don't see him at the age he's going to be being out of baseball for two years. I think he'd stat wise he'll be just fine. But I think there's other pitchers available that they need. I, I mean, heck, at this point, just bring back Burns. Okay, but if you have Burns, who else are you gonna bring in? Give me a top tier starting pitcher that's gonna be available that you can bring in for a reasonable price. Fred, you're gonna you're gonna be pretty good. Max Fried. Max Fried would be an excellent addition. I'm with you on that. Now, none of these guys are value wise are going to be the same as, say, uh, I mean, like cost wise, they're going to be in a different bracket than a Bauer. Bauer's going to be for free, basically. Yeah. Right. Bauer will play for anything at, at this point. But from a value standpoint, I mean, Blake Snell's going to be available. I mean, he's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Robbie Ray might be available. There's going to be some guys that are available that don't give you those headaches, give you different headaches. <laughs> but not those headaches. All right. I, I mean, I'd love to see Blake Snell. I think he's going to be a lot of money. He proved this year that he can pitch very well. Um, <laughs> I don't want Marcus Stroman, obviously. I definitely don't want that guy. I'm just looking to get an ace cheap, and I just don't know who's out there. I mean, Max Fried was a really good call on that. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Um, I mean, here's the thing, too, is like, here's some other names. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Verlander. Scherzer. Cole might be available. Snell, Patrick Corbin, um, Robbie Ray, Charlie Morton. 
Giolito as an opt out, Evaldi as a vesting option. I mean, I would go through like uh, Montas. Um, I can't Walker, trust any Walker, of those guys. No. Burns, Freed, Manaya. Again, it, I, and I get that what you're saying is very true. Bieber, Bieber's healthy. We'll be we'll be healthy, right? Quintana. Quintana would be a good number three. Severino, Kikuchi, Mel Kelly. Uh, it's a club. It's a club option. That's seven million. They're definitely taking that. Are you willing to give Verlander thirty plus million? Because that's what it's going to take to keep him from retiring potentially. I'm giving Walker. I would be willing to give Walker Bueller twenty five. Okay, but I don't know if Walker Bueller will take twenty five. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know either. And and again, you're getting down into this list of of guys. It's a little thin this year with some of these players. It's a little thin. I mean, it's heavy on some names up top, mm-hmm. but then gets a little. I mean, it's a little thin on like. There's not a guy outside of like. I mean, again, Cole. Who knows if, if there's an opt out at 36 million? That's. I mean, I don't know if he's going to take that. Blake Snell has a player option at at 38 million dollars, right? Right. Like, there's certain things here that that are going to happen. But outside of that, it gets a lot of number two and threes pretty quick. And you got the Verlander Scherzer, but again, I don't know if I'm going to invest. If I'm the Orioles, I don't know if I'm going to invest that money into a Verlander. But if I did, like it's spending $35 million and you're not going to have to sign him for two, three years. You know, I know your personal views towards Trevor Bauer, but I want to know your honest to God opinion, what your heart tells you. Next year, the Orioles are one pitcher away and you have the option between Trevor Bauer at zero money or Max Scherzer at $35 million. What's the better play? Bauer would be the better pitcher. I still don't think it's worth it, man. In a day and age of 2025, we're dealing with what we deal with every single day in in marketing and management of your fans. Too much of a headache. I'm good.